and we've seen them do this a lot of times. Just give Gabby space to farm. The PL will scale. Yeah, it's a bit of a loss, but I don't think Mac cares too much considering how his lane is going. Just look how pressured Gabby is to find these last hits. He's seven to one and Mac is 12 to three. Mac is really abusing this lane quite well. On top lane, Armel does end up going down to Natsumi, who also goes after March now, finding his courier and then finding the kill. Yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to be this tanky lane combination. It's just that March at level 3 just can't do much, and Natsumi going really deep to try to find more. Oh, Natsumi doesn't dive the tier 1 tower. He was just a bit... Too afraid of dying there, but now Armel comes back in with the X. March has to be a little bit careful. He's still very low, but Natsumi has to be more careful. Tide bring a hit. Going to be there with the Icarus dive and a nice fire spirit. Armel does manage to clean up that kill. Meanwhile, though, in the mid lane, Mac, he ends up killing off Tim's on the Earthshaker. Now Mac getting salved up, back up to full HP. Tim's will come into the mid lane to soak some XP here, but well, Droid is really starting to get out of control. Back yeah, Tim's finding a bit. Snowball gonna be there. They know they can dive this. Tim's has the poison touch on him as well. He'll just die. <laughs> CMO will happily let Mac take the kill. Yeah, and the greed of Bot the droid's draft is still paying off. Gabby ends up dying again. Ben Soy now losing his life on the Beastmaster. March falling low as well. Natsumi, he's just all over the map. He'll just follow Gabby wherever he goes, it seems, and. Well, KP now going to be in trouble. Doesn't have the split available right now. Time lapse is there from Natsumi, and KP slowly going to be chased down. Does slam the ground. Natsumi falling low, but not low enough to dissuade him from chasing. Malifus going to be there on KP. He continues to try and run away. But there are Necro creeps following him right now, and he has no mana left. He will end up dying. And that allows Natsumi to get a few more hits into that tier 2. Yeah, and TNC, they're still trying to hunt down. They do find Mac. That they do, but he is a dazzle. Bo gonna fly in. Looks like they might have enough, and he does go down to the tide, bring a hit. CML, though, there with Natsumi. They'll try out to RML, but now the primal split will come out from KP. CML will snowball away back onto RML. The snowball will end up connecting, but now the Weaver being tornadoed up. Here comes Gabby on the Beastmaster, oh, on the PL, but the Beastmaster does get the roar on RML. They do find the kill. Now Tim's also ends up dying. Boomy, he'll find that one. CML trying to run away. Gabby gonna chase him down, and now oh. the black hole. Oh, Boomy just getting the PL as well. It's a three for nothing. Yeah, you don't see that, but Boomy, as long as he can land those black holes, he can really turn his fights off. Bot lane, nice snowball save through the X. The boat is going to be there. Natsumi still goes with the boat, and he will go down here. Egg being committed by March just in case. But CML and Natsumi both losing their lives there, and those are some very, very important pickups for the side of TNC. Yeah, those were pretty big. Costly, though. Slam and Egg being down means you're probably not going to fight anytime soon. And Adroit, remember, they've got that Blink and Boomy. They want to reveal it. I'm pretty sure once these two heroes respawn, Adroit will try to make a play. They kind of, uh, they don't really need to, but they definitely can if they, uh, if they so choose to. And it looks like they are going to TP mid. Smoke up. Boomy with that black hole blink now up and run. And uh, they run into that radiant triangle. Tim's going to get scouted out here. Snowball. He's going to be able to land. Tim's will die. Maybe not. The Fisher is there, but no. Natsumi's going to chase him down with the Sakuchi. CML had the shards anyway. Now KP. Understanding he's in the wrong place right now. will run away. But Adroit, they want to go for more. They understand with the Blink Black Hole, they want to get that big surprise initiation off. And quite frankly, if they somehow wiped the TNC right now, they could actually go for a T3 tower if they really wanted to. Oh, no. Does X back. Has to be very careful because Bensoi does have the roar as well. They slowly just chip away at that tier 2 mid, but ultimately will back off. Yeah, it's uh, not quite the best opportunities for Boomy. Um, you are seeing a lot more defensiveness from TNC. They've been a lot more disciplined about their positioning, and they're just going to try to take their time. As long as the droid doesn't melt any further towers, 
I think TNC is going to be happy. They're giving space for other heroes to farm. They've given March a lane to get some EXP up as well. So you're still finding some stuff across the map, although... Yeah, March might be dead. He crystal dive TP. Oh, yeah. He's but the Malefus is there. <sighs> no. Yeah. Mac top lane, however, they're gonna try onto the Dazzle. Great shards out from CML, however, just blocking them out. Still, they got the boat in. Fisher is there. They will secure the kill. Now CML, the chase will be on. That task is in big trouble, and he will also die to Gabby. In fact, they might even find another. KP, he got the tornado. Primal split, just about to end. They'll just wait out that tornado. And Echo, just being committed, just in case Bentoy wants to play any games. They might run straight into Gabby. Oh. Natsumi will scout him out. Gabby gonna go for a run. Does have that double. Boomy would love to just black hole if he needs to, and yeah, oh. he commits it. It's well worth it for that pause one kill, although no. Walrus Punch misses the uh, the right target, but it won't matter, Natsumi. He does secure the kill. Huh? KP looking for a way into this fight. Tim's gonna get a nice Fisher off. Boomy, though, is right around the corner. Now they will get started. Black Hole gonna be committed. Does catch three of oh. them, but KP does get the split off still. Tim's will die preemptively. Now Armel also goes down, and KP just has to run for it. Just run as fast as you can, sir. Oh. Top lane march, speaking of, does get caught out now. Of course, he has that Icarus dive, but he is not going to survive. Just doesn't matter. Natsumi, Sukuchi's past as he is ghost formed, and just another very easy kill. A joint, they'll extend their lead now to 8k. It's going to be a decently fast Roshan if they don't get in there. Oh. Oh. Black Hole going to be there, only catching one, but it is Armel on the conquer. Boomy now going to have to back off as the rest of TNT are more than happy to go in. KP out there with the primal split. Boomy's still going to be in big, big trouble in that Enigma, but there's the shallow grave for Mac, making sure he stays alive. Now Natsumi coming in. Nice fish out from Tim's blocking them in, and now Ooh. the Echo coming out, connecting on two. Still a nice snowball save onto Mac, allowing uh, allowing him to get out of that boat flying in from Armel. Now they jump in. It's complete chaos around the Roshan pit, but Armel is falling, and he will end up dying. CML now looking for more. They catch up March with those shards. Ben Soy, though, to control up Gabby. He's doing a lot of damage right now on that PL. Egg has been dropped but oh. gets destroyed straight away. Ben Soy now getting put in the snowball as Natsumi tries to Sukuchi away and deal with these illusions from the PL. They'll find KP. Ben Soy does die. Gabby is still going, however. He'll find CML as well. Mac is falling low but does TP out in time. And Tim's meanwhile still controlling up Natsumi but he will die to Natsumi. And it's only really Gabby versus Natsumi left. And both these heroes seemingly just can't die right now, or maybe they can. You look to Gabby, who almost has the full Abyssal up, and perhaps once that Abyssal Blade is there, they might be able to actually finish off that, that Dazzle or even the Weaver to start the fight off. Although, Boomy, Black Hole, gonna be on the PL top lane. He is completely oh, no. alone right now. He will survive through it. Natsumi, though, is there. Now, nice Fisher coming up from Tim's. Echo is also available. Gabby still surviving, but he is falling very, very low. Poison Touch comes out. Mac following up with Natsumi. And oh. Gabby does end up dying. Now, KP trying to run away with those Primal Split Brulings. March does have his Ags up, but that Enigma Ags hurts. Double oh, Midnight yeah. Pulse on a black hole. KP, KP going to get caught out. Raw gonna be there as well. They'd love to get this Brewmaster. He's still alive for now. There's the egg saving him March. Oh, he brought no. him in and now oh. get Tim's. He jumps in with a huge echo slam, but they still find the egg. KP and March both die. It's looking really bad for TNC. They'll buy back on KP. Tim's is dead, however, on the Earthshaker. KP, can you do anything? He has the primal split. He will commit it. He'll run in, but he can't find a target. Oh, in fact, no. all his spirits are dying. KP, no. he might die back. It looks like he probably will and he does go down now Gabby being caught out Boomy has the black hole if he wants to commit it he does Ooh, it's yeah. just on Gabby but it's well worth it there's no buybacks left no call GG they have had enough Whew. And what a performance to that point where you have an abyssal you could burst the morphling down as an Ursa hmm. I, I don't think you really want to force it out too much there's a lot of control in TNC at level one as well well, they're going to start going. Mac going to join in as well. They Who do they want to aim for? I think March is your best bet here. Boomy still holding onto the Fisher. Oh, yeah. Gets a perfect block off. And Mac 
It's the dream of every mid laner. They have to ensure that Gabby's not going to get punished for that kind of uh, farming build, though. Inkswell placed on himself. He should still die here. Bensoi picks up that kill, but Icarus Scythe is not available right now. And that means Gabby should be able to find a secondary kill, but Boomy delaying things. It won't be enough. And I think that actually favors Gabby here on the form on the side of TNC, right? Like you don't you don't mind losing March like that. In fact, if you find Boomy, you're gonna be even happier. Meanwhile, Tim's does get CML off the top lane, but Gabby is still chasing down Boomy. Interestingly enough, though, he is going for the Battle Fury build. Ben Soy in a bit of trouble, doesn't have that dive. Gabby trying to secure this kill, but getting juked out right now. He's running the wrong way, and that's because Mac is around oh. on that Ember. It was all a bait from Ben Soy. But they just want that T1 tower. TNC, they will be able to take it. However, yeah, Gabby, Gabby, gonna find CML. Adroit do not feel confident to try and fight back, so that was actually a very, very nice rotation from Gabby. He gets himself a free kill. How often do you see an S and Y build on a Morphling, of all things? Yeah, it's uh, not very common at all. Mid lane, Boomy setting up for a big team fight. KP gonna be in big, big trouble. Mac is gonna be able to really clean up here and does find a double kill. You can really see the strength there from that Fisher. From Boomy, just he's just he's this Earth Taker that constantly just ends up finding these amazing fishes during a team fight that just blocks everyone oh. off. In fact, right now he gets another nice block off on Tim's lift up on the Ember Mac. He's gonna try and fight back. Sunray gonna be there. Tim should eventually just burn out. He's still trying to fight back, but no, he does go down. Mac, however, does not want to die like this. Boomy jumps in with the Enchant Totem, and now the yeah. Echo! He waits for the Creep Wave. It's so much damage up from Boomy into the Egg of Ben Soy. And Mac gets out of there scot-free. Oh, what an Echo Slam <laughs> from Boomy. It hasn't really been working out that way now. Well, Gabby trying to go for a Roshan, but he gets scouted oh, out by no. CML and Boomy's no. in there as well. With the Sunray from Ben Soy, he's taking out things. Well, however, no. may help out. Matt jumps in. They found CML, but they're going to lose Gabby. And now, Armel, there's no way out of this situation. He is definitely dying. And Mac is already looking for another target. Natsumi going to be there as well. They burst down March. And on top of all that, it looks like they'll also find oh, KP. No. Another Fisher block on KP. He's going to try and run away. He does have borrowed time, but they're just going to follow him. Just stalk the prey. And almost at that high ground, but not quite. Mac will be able to secure the kill for the team. Up against TNC. <laughs> Up against TNC. And, and the thing is as well, we're only 21 minutes in, John. Natsumi's got Sanjin Yasha, Morbid Mask, Treads, Wand, and fucking Aghanim Scepter. Excuse my French, and it's just... It's insanity. <laughs> it is. It is there insanity. Like, his farm is crazy right now. He's sitting at 12 and a half K, and... You could just blow someone up. Here we go. Fisher, perfect from Natsumi. Another fish from go. Boomy. Just, just make the wall bigger. <laughs> oh and now boy. Tim's... Getting jumped on, is gonna die. Oh no. Bang. <laughs> Natsumi just one hit, finds another. Oh, oh March. man, March. March, you've got to run away. You know what this combo does, sir. So you've uh, you've drafted this many times. Soulbind is gonna be there, however. Sans is out as well. Can they secure these kills? They would be big, big deals here for TNC. But no, Ben Soy, you just don't have the lockdown. He's literally just running away right now. Shield does explode. Ben Soy just uses the Icarus Dive and gets out of there. Ooh. Oh, there's the stun. KP gonna have that borrowed time popped. Another great Fisher out though. Great stun out and well, they get oh. the Aegis. That's a big start. But now Mac, he'll just jump in. Gabby does take care of the Exo. Ben Soy is also gonna die. But Mac's the real problem. He found a double, but Gabby, he finds a double as well. They have lost the melee barracks. But they are finding kills. Boomy gets a Fisher. A follow-up oh. Fisher coming out. More Fishers. There's a third Fisher from Tim's. <laughs> so KP just going to keep running. His Rax is under siege. Oh. March will die. Armel will die. Gabby the only one left. KP does finally get the TP off. But now the chains are out from Matt. Just controlling both these heroes. March, he'll buy it back. 
But again, I ask the question, how do you defend? TNC, they need to find a way to defend. It, it's just, they don't have the best high ground here. There's not much team fight coming out. You've got the Scotty up now on Natsumi, so just more stats and more damage. Oh, look at this Fisher. They trap him between oh. two rocks. Now they jump in. They find March again. It's a dieback on the Grimstroke. Tim's is also to go down. Gabby trying to fight back. He gets the egg. He might find Boomy, but no. There'll be a Yules out. Gabby will run out of Enrage and he will die. And that'll be a GG call being made from TNC. A droid.